Four games left to go here in the regular season here for the Tennessee Volunteers, and all they gotta do is just survive. I, I mean, you got four games left. We start here with this game on the road. It's late night one at Missouri. Then you gotta take on number eight USC. You go to Vandy, and you finish at home against Kentucky. Those last two games shouldn't be a problem. The next two get a little bit concerning, and it starts again with this game against Missouri here tonight. Tennessee comes into this one ranked number one. Ohio State follows them at two, and then UNLV at three. Those are the undefeated teams. Then you got Florida, who we've already beat at four, Bama, who we've already beat at six, Georgia, who we've already beat at 12. We just got to keep winning games here. Like, sure, maybe we could afford to lose one game, but let's just hope it doesn't happen. We just got to take care of business and win these final four games. We're taking on this Missouri team, who they're five and four. They're not bad. Connor Bazelak is still the starting quarterback of this Tigers team. It is his final year as a starting quarterback, of course, for Missouri before I think he'll probably enter the NFL draft. I'd assume he would get drafted somewhere. SEC quarterback, he's been there for a while. He's now a redshirt senior, of course, for Mizzou. But again, all we got to do is just win this game. We got to take care of business. It feels like a trap game. It really does since we're on the road. It's a late night one, but we should be able to be unranked Missouri. We haven't had too many problems with any teams in the past. Again, we had that weird game against Arkansas and the close one against Alabama. But other than those two games, it has been easy sailing so far for the Tennessee Volunteers. And folks, if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more NCAA 14 here on the channel. Our next one with the Tennessee Volunteers will be that game against USC. What a banger that one should be. If USC wins this week, there's a chance they're in the top five. So still some tough games going for Tennessee. But again, one more time, it starts tonight with Missouri. And also folks, LB The Show 22 comes out in less than seven days. So next Friday, we will be starting up on MLB 22, The Show. We should have a franchise going. I'll be playing some Diamond Dynasty as well. So be on the lookout for that coming up very soon here on the channel. If you haven't seen Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty mode just yet, well, we still got a lot of solid players on the squad. We've got Arch Manning as our starting quarterback. He's now a sophomore. Jalen Hyatt is our stud senior receiver. And we've also got um, Jabari Small, who's currently second right now in the high Heisman race is our starting running back. So let's get it going. Tennessee's got it from their own 40 yard line here in a first and 10. Arch Manning looking to throw over the middle. He has got his man, Jalen Hyatt, the 99 speed receiver, has got a gain of 16 right there on the in route. Now a second and three for the Volunteers offense. It will be a read option, but we'll give it off to Jabari Small. There is Small, the Heisman hopeful for a gain of nine right there on the ground. And now another first and 10 for the Volunteers offense. Play action fake for Arch. Dropping back, looking to throw Manning to his left. He will find Ron Jackson. Jackson's got a pickup of 18 yards and a first down. And now a second and five for the Volunteers. Play action fake. Manning from the 10, looking to his left. Wide open. It's the tight end, Miles Campbell. And the Volunteers work it straight down the field. They will now go up 7-0. Manning 3-for-3 three three in that drive. As Missouri gets the ball back from their own 20-yard line, Basil looking to throw to his right. He'll dump it off to his running back right there. It will be Dominic Lovett, but he'll lose three yards on that catch. So now a third and 18 for Missouri. Basilak dropping back, taking a shot downfield. Oh, come on, Hayden's burn. Deep shot, J.J. Hester. Hester still on his feet all the way down to the Tennessee 14-yard line. It's a gain of 69 right there for Missouri. As they now have a first and 10 at Basilak from the 15, dropping back. He's got pressure in his face, but he'll still get it off to his receiver right there. It will be Chance Looper. Looper for 10 yards setting up for a first single opportunity for the Tigers offense. Basilak on a handoff. It's going to Taj Butts. And Butts is in the end zone as Missouri will tie this game up at 7 here with only 4 minutes to go in this first quarter. Missouri responds immediately. Tennessee gets the football back here on a 2nd and 7. Manning going to scramble to his left. He'll be taken down though by the sack. Manning's going to lose 12 yards right there. Setting up now for a 3rd and 19 for this Tennessee offense, manning out the gun, dropping back, looking to throw his head again and sacked again. Losing 11 yards, Howard Morgan on the sack, and Missouri now, after a good kick return, gets the football back on a first and 10. It will be a screen pass to Taj Butts. Butts with a huge stiff arm of Danico Slaughter is going to pick up a gain of 11 right there, setting up for a first down for this Mizzou offense. First and goal, Basilak out the gun, looking to throw his, he throws. Down he goes. It's a loss of seven. Morvin Joseph with his second sack of the ball game, making it now a third and goal for Missouri from their own 15. It'll be a screen pass. Basilak Zalak, though, sacked again. Tennessee's already got sack number three of the game. This time it's William Mohan, and Missouri's going to come out for the field goal. This one is up, and it is good. So the Tigers do take the lead with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. It is 10-7 for Missouri with Tennessee getting the football back here from their own 20-yard line on a second and 14. Manning, those picked off. 
Walker with the interception gets it for the Tigers. What a turn of events as Missouri's got all the momentum on their side after that Johnny Walker pick. It's 10 to 7 for Missouri as we head into the second quarter. So Missouri picks it up here from the 10 yard line. It will be a second goal for Bazelak in the offense. Handoff, Taj butts up the middle and he'll be down at the one yard line. It's a gain of nine right there for Missouri. Bazelak out the gun here in a third and goal. Handoff, butts, end zone, touchdown, Missouri. 17 to 7 now for the Tigers. We said it felt like a trap game earlier. And maybe that's what this is coming into. I don't know. It's a second and three now for Tennessee. Getting the ball back down by 10. Jalen Hyatt on the slant route. It's going to pick up a gain of 15 yards. He'll get him now down to this Missouri 40-yard line. Play action fake for Manning. Dropping back. Scrambling to his right. Got the first down with Ron Jackson. Jackson's got a gain of 11 yards, making it now a first and 10 from the 30. Manning up the gun. Handoff Jabari Small up the middle. Yet another first down for Tennessee. This time on the ground. Small's got a gain of 13. Six minutes to go in the second quarter first and 10 Manning out the gun scrambling to his left arch looking to run he will staying on his feet pump fake Manning uh, loses the football another turnover for Arch Manning in back-to-back -back drives he produces two turnovers Missouri will take over possession they're not going to do much with it they run it three times they'll lose eight yards on those three runs with Taj Butts but again it costs Tennessee a chance of scoring we're going to get the ball back after this Missouri punt. So Price punting out of his own end zone. We'll give it back to Jalen Hyatt. And look at all this green grass ahead of Hyatt. I mean, he's going to run. He's going to run for a while. Look at this. Jalen Hyatt cutting it back inside. Still in his feet. Oh, what a return. We get it right back to the point, basically, where Manning fumbled. We'll have it on a third and goal from the five-yard line. Manning up the gun, looking to throw. Scrambling to his left. Arch will be taken down by the sack. I mean, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll kick the field goal. Johnny Walker now with the pick and a sack in the game. It'll be a fourth and goal. Obviously, James Norton comes out for the field goal. Tennessee cuts the lead now down to seven with three minutes to go in the first half. Missouri gets the football back here on a third and nine. They've got it from about midfield. Basilak on a screen pass, looking to butts. He's got him, but we're all over it. They're right there with Joseph as Missouri's going to lose seven yards. We'll get the football back now, though, from the 30-yard line. It's second down with a minute to go. Tennessee's trying to run the offense. What a pass by Manning, threading the needle into Walker Merrill. It'll be again a 14 right there for Tennessee, as that's Merrill's first target and reception of the day. We've got it with 40 seconds. There goes Jabari Small in the Texas route, picking up 10 yards down now to the Missouri 40-yard line. 38 seconds left to play. Arches out the empty gun, dropping back, scrambling to his right. Manning, he'll barely get it off, and he'll get it to Walker Merrill for yet another first down. Merrill's got a pickup of 10 yards 24 seconds to go it will be a third and 10 for the Tennessee offense Manning to his left staying in the pocket he's got no choice but to throw that one away and Tennessee will be forced to kick a field goal before the end of the half so James Norton will come out for a 47 yarder that one is up and it will be good so Tennessee now cuts the lead down to four but Missouri with 11 seconds left after a good kick return they've got it from the 40 yard line Basil is going to take a shot downfield as he throws but he barely gets it off to Mookie Cooper and now Missouri's going to attempt, what, a 50-something yard field goal? It's up and off the uprights and good. Oh, my goodness. As time expires here in the second quarter, Missouri goes and gets that field goal right back. They will retake a seven-point lead. So we're heading into the third quarter with Mizzou up by seven, 20 to 13. So the third quarter is underway. Missouri's got it here on a second and 10 from their own 25-yard line. Basilak taking a shot over the middle. It's that same route that got us at the end of the first half. It's that damn in route by Mookie Cooper. Cooper on one play has got him over midfield. I mean, yeah, those are his only two catches of the game, is those two catches that we've just seen. Third and 14, though, from Missouri. Basilak taking a shot downfield. We got to bat this ball down. Turnage, come on, bro. Mookie Cooper again. I mean, this guy's killing us. It's a gain of 47, first and goal for Basilak. And Missouri handoff, Taj Butts, he'll get in. It's not even a yard. 27-13 for Missouri. This isn't good. Uh, not good at all. Tennessee is in danger here on the road against Missouri, and now it's a third and 10. Arch Manning looking to throw to his right. He'll get it off to Ron Jackson. That was a huge play in this game right now. Jackson's going to pick up 22 yards, keeping this one alive, basically, for Tennessee as they're down by two touchdowns. Second and 10 for Arch, scrambling to his left. He'll be on the run, and Arch Manning will be brought down after a gain of about nine and a half, setting up for a third in inches. Manning off the gun, hand off Jabari Small. He'll pick up the first down and more. Small staying on his feet, cutting it back inside. Look at Jabari Small, down out in the red 
zone, it will be a gain of 23 yards. Small's got eight carries for 78. And now a first and 10 at triple option for Tennessee. Manning's going to pitch to his right. Anderson at Kobe. Kobe on the run down to the five yard line. Big play right there by Tennessee. Setting up now for a first and goal off the 15 yard run. Here it is. Manning out the gun. Back up running back in the game. It's Jalen Wright. And Jalen Wright's in after the five yard touchdown by Tennessee. They've cut the lead back down by seven. It's 27 to 20. Missouri, though, getting the football back here on this third and two. Base lock out the gun. He'll keep on a read option, and all of this Tennessee defense bites on it. Base lock's got a gain of five right there. First down for Missouri. Third and eight, though. Tennessee dropping back on defense. Can they get off the field? Base lock takes a shot. We got about this one down to Nico Slaughter, and that's what we will do. Tennessee gets the ball back. Here comes a second and four for Arch Manning and the guys from the 40-yard line read option. Going to Jabari Small. Small over midfield, breaking a tackle and more. It will be again a 14 right there for the Tennessee offense. Now a third and 12, though. Manning out the empty gun, trying to pick up this first down. Arch to his right, trying to let one fly. Ron Jackson drops it. Got to make those plays. That's a first down and a game changer, but instead of Ron Jackson can't catch the football. So we go to the fourth quarter down by seven with Mizzou getting the football back. Need a stop right here. I mean, you need a huge third and six. Basilak dropping back, looking to throw on a screen, going to Taj Butts, and he's got the screen and a first down. My goodness, gain of 15. Missouri keeps the football. Eight minutes left to go. Tennessee trying to hold on to their number one ranking. Bazelak on a first and 10. Looking over the middle. He has got Mookie Cooper. Cooper's been shredding this Tennessee secondary all game long. And now Missouri's got a second and six from the 35. Bazelak looking over the middle. Ball is caught. It will be JJ Hester for a gain of eight. And Missouri just keeps passing this ball downfield. Third and four. Can Tennessee at least hold him to three? Read option. Everyone bites. Connor Basilak now down to the two yard line after a gain of 18 yards. Missouri's got a first and goal. Handoff backup running back. It will be Elijah Young. Three yard touchdown from Missouri. They've taken a 14 point lead with 547 left to play. I mean, desperation mode right now for Tennessee. Second and 10, Arch Manning with 5.30 left to go. Scrambling to his right. He'll take off. He'll run. He's got a first down and more. After a gain of 20, Arch Manning's got the first down, but he's hurt. Arch Manning's down in the field and he's injured. Luckily, we have a 97 overall backup quarterback in Harrison Bailey. It will be a second nine for Bailey running the offense now, looking to throw to his right. Harrison Bailey will run. He's got a first down, a slide after a gain of about 11 with five minutes again. Still left to play in tonight's contest. Second and one. Bailey dropping back, looking to his right. He's going to find his receiver and Ron Jackson. This time, Jackson doesn't drop that wide open pass. It'll be a gain of 21 yards. Empty shotgun look as Arch Manning re enters the ball game here in a second and 10 at looking to throw to his left he'll thread it into Anderson Kobe Kobe's gonna score it's a 14 yard touchdown Tennessee's down by seven with 430 left to go they just need a stop Let's see if they can get it, because here's your chance. Third and four, Mizzou out the gun. Basilak handoff, Taj Butts to his left. We're going to get that stop. Marley's over it, and Tennessee will be getting the football back, and let's let our offense work. First and ten. Here comes Arch Manning out the gun over the middle. First down, Anderson Kobe on that same exact route that he had on the touchdown. It'll now be a second and 15, though. Manning out the gun, looking, taking a shot to his left. He'll thread it in to his tight end and Julian. Nixon. Nixon for the first down and 16. Two minutes to go. Second and 11. Manning looking over the middle. It will be Jimmy Callaway. He's been silent all game long, but Callaway is going to shred off a tackle and pick up 14 yards. A minute 58 to go after Callaway's first catch of the game. Empty gun. Manning looking to throw in a first and 10 to his right. Ball's picked off. He was looking for Walker Merrill. Instead, Missouri's got their second pick of the game, and they're a first down away from ending it. It's a second and 13. Tennessee can still stay in this game with two stops. Hand off Taj Butts. He's going nowhere. The third and nine to decide basically the season for Tennessee. Here it is. Connor Bazelak out the gun. Will they run? Will they throw? They're throwing the football. It's a screen, and we were not ready for it. I was using Danico Slaughter over the middle. I was thinking there. I, I mean, I wasn't paying attention to the screen. I picked up the tight end instead. Connor Bazelak finishes with 324 passing yards for Missouri as they're going to knock off number one Tennessee here at home.
down goes the number one team in the country. We'll see how far they will fall in the rankings, which we'll check in just a couple seconds. But man, that's a tough one to swallow. It really is, honestly. The interception at the end of the game by Arch really hurts. And we'll look to regroup next week against USC. I don't know. I think USC lost. That kind of hurts us because we need to get a win over a very good team. But USC will fall to like, I don't know, mid-15s ten, mid like about. Yeah, we're not even in the top 10. They fall us all the way to 11. Even though we've already beat number three, Florida, we beat number four, Alabama, but they fall us all the way to 11. That's ridiculous. That's so stupid. I mean, we got three games to try to make that up. We'll see, folks. Plus the SEC Championship game. So we got four games to win. And hopefully we're still in the top two. Good luck, thank you for watching. And mama forever.